Murphy Museum because he mixes, he mixes within the museum structure, he left out the categories or he mixed up what was this, he did not label things. So I would mark, I could come in there, it's like a kid who adds up two and two and says it's five. You tell him no, when you're playing doing math, two and two is four. Now he's a museum, you show the categories, you show what this is and what that is. He mixes up. He mixes up the, the bat myth with the scientist. So if you mix And that's why you don't you go you, into that disoriented experience. Because that's what that's what that's what Scott was saying. Where, bat, where what bat, is this? Is, where's the label? Bob. The label's giving Scott First Street has this light, we turn right. The label's given to Scott. We're Scott. not complete, and Scott knew that, and he says, what's going on here, right, Scott? That's your initial perceptual experience. Right, Scott, after the light. After the light. Yeah. Okay, okay, what was your point? Bob, uh, What did you just accuse me of? You, if you he made mixes, some derogatory embed there that's on right, the Right, if he mixes, then is he required to tell you he's mixing? No! That's what I said. He, that, that's satirical. And he said, well, no, but one thing we are is sat satirical. Right. Yeah. It doesn't matter. And, okay, and if he wasn't being satirical, he's being a lousy museum guy. He's fuck, he doesn't even know the basic and rules. standards. Yeah, well, the standards of museum. Now, he can mix it up. He can be lousy if he's doing it consciously, and that's satire. Okay? But he couldn't pull the wool over people's eyes if he was telling them he That's was. right. In other words, the fucking guy is not serious, Left. Scott, which is new to... You don't have to go back there. The fucking place is a joke, Scott. <laughs> we don't know where he's beginning to look. I it's a joke, Bob. It is not a I joke completely. In you're in retrospect. There's you're, a you're you're coming to the conclusion. No, yeah, no, it's you're not a joke. Ten percent. No, he's of a it. joke. He uh, is a fucking liar. Great. I'm going to write a letter to the L.A. Weekly and complain about this. Uh, uh, my taxpayer is going well, to read that the book. Me. That book. That guy wrote a whole book yeah, at the yeah, museum. Yeah, yeah. Have you got it? No. The guy he wrote it, and he's saying it was bizarre that the guy wrote a book thinking it was a metaphor. That's the point. This guy, they're they're presenting themselves as real. This strange guy, he actually thought we were a metaphor. And I caught him. I said, "Well, your original thing was nature's metaphor." I caught him right. on that. It went full circle, right? Then he started. That's why he started to pray. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to laugh their heads off. They're, they're going to say, when they show the tape to his staff, he says, this fucking guy caught us, people. He caught us. Lucky he's a fucking Canadian and we'd be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> he, he really loved it, too. Yeah, he said, yeah. That was very good. Yeah. It's high, highly complimentary. Great this is the... Uh, Another great interview by Bob. It just was the squared... It was well, squaring you know, the you know Dobson process. You know process. what, Bob? The, the whole... Yeah. When history looks back at this, the whole purpose of that museum being there was for this interview. Yeah, that's, that's right. What, that's yeah. what they're going to... That's right. That Bob archive. created the fun of the museum. Smash the museum, the museum <laughs> but they <laughs> take the interview of the archive. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Because the whole point is that Bob finds the building the museum so he can get that interview in it. Right. right. Yeah, that's it. Here, I can grab one of those. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if funding is cut from here on in. <laughs> That's why he's praised. Oh my god, we're going to be out of a gig. Uh, <laughs> Carolyn, keep your eye on one practical level of reality. Just push it forward. I can't wait home to celebrate and party and eat my rice cakes. I can relax after this enduring. But, uh, Scott, Rick, Scott, Bill. <laughs> I need your help, too, Bob. You got another hand, Scott? Yeah. Close. So it was a pretty neat experience. You know, that was great. That really is Dobbs Town of the future, Jerry. You know, nobody will know whether it really happened or not, right? Here's, because look at that, you know, in that museum, the introduction, they had that weird old head. You know, the head, the Dobbs head? That was some guy from the old square. Well, why was that head there?